Hello and welcome. If you have a slow motion video, for example from iPhone, that you can tell by going to VLC and going to Tools, Media Information, in Codec, you can see frame rate 120 or nearly 119.9166 actually. If you want to permanently change this, then you can use a video editor, for example, the free Olive video editor. And then you just drag this video into the all of video editor into the project area you drag it to a timeline and we got a sequence here let's look at the sequence in properties we can see that its frame rate is 29.97 now let's play this back all right this is the same speed we just saw if we look at the video file and go to properties we can see its frame rate what 99.99 that is not correct well, let's set it to 30. All right, OK. And now we just delete it from this track and put it back in here. And if we zoom out, we can see it's now one minute, nearly one minute long. And if we play it back, it plays back in slow motion, which is what we actually wanted. We might also want to increase the volume, so we can click on the clip and go to volume, uh, increase. Oh my goodness, maybe just six. Wow, that was bad. Maybe maybe 12? Depends on your clip, really. 24? I think I'm gonna go for 18 for this clip. Yeah. Alright, alright. We're just checking the whole clip. I'm gonna check this, because it looks a bit louder here. I'm gonna increase the size here as well. Okay, let's uh, export this. So, if this helps, by the way, give this video a like. Subscribe to this channel to support it. Uh, we're gonna go to File Export. You can also hit Control M, and then we're gonna pick. Yeah, the default is perfect. MPEG 4 video, sure, sure. Entire sequence. Yep, yep, yep. Frame rate should definitely not be 60. What is going on here? Let's check the sequence properties. Frame rate is not. Let's set this to 30. By the way, this is definitely good. No, that was weird. Hopefully, that's all, all normal. Okay, again, let's export this. Control M. Now it's 30, it's still 30. We're gonna set a quality, 36 is a bit bad. Uh, if you hover over this, you, over this, you can see that 17, 18 is um, like virtually lossless, so use 18, uh, not higher. Uh, we're gonna keep this, we're gonna keep 30, and we're gonna keep the audio settings, why not? Now we're just gonna hit export, and we're just gonna pick a folder and a file name. For example, uh, real slow-mo. Yo, and press save. Now we're gonna just wait for this progress bar to finish. It is rendering, exporting, not uploading or downloading. Even though it's a progress bar, it is not uploading or downloading, it is actually rendering. Okay, once that is done, we can just go to the folder that contains the exported video. And here it is. We don't have to do slow-mo or anything. It's already at full speed. We can see that it has 30 frame rates per second, a bit weird number, but yeah, it's 30 frames per second. And we just converted a video to real slow-mo from high frame rate using Olive, an open source and free video editor. I hope this was useful. Please subscribe to support this channel, give this video a like, let me know in the comments if you still have a problem or if you can figure out the numbers uh, you have to change in Olive. But basically 30 is your goal for everything. 30 is the most common frame rate currently still. I hope this was useful. Have fun converting your videos. Until next time, ciao!